Welcome to Minerva, a show where we discuss the mysteries. We hope to give you enough information that you can go away and do your own studies. I'd like to introduce my co-host Duncan. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about the Knights Templar Tunnels in Hartford. Ah. So one of our favourite subjects, so to speak, in regards to the Knights Templar. But there is a rumour that's been around for 15 years or so uh-huh. that there are tunnels underneath the town of Hartford that are made and maintained by the Knights Templar and they still use them ritually. So the Knights Templar in Hartford still meet in this underground chamber apparently and this you know this was all brought out by two brothers who described this in a interview with the local newspaper. Uh, Tim and Ben, who are the, the, the two sort of twin brothers who came forward with this information, has said that they are aware of, and I don't think they've made it known that they're part of this, but they're certainly aware of this group of Knights Templar who use secret passages and go and do rituals in chambers there underneath mainly four streets, which is the main street in the town of Hartford, um, which is in Hertfordshire in, in, in England. So in a post Da Vinci Code era, <laughs> which... I think we were in at the time there the da vinci code had come out and all of the topics that we so loved dearly and loved before that really had a renaissance people were talking about Roslyn chapel again they were talking about ren le chateau they were talking about um the poussin paintings they were talking about everything and the knights templar got brought up and really became fashionable again and it was around that time this interview happened right so Having sort of set the scene and we know where we are, how do you feel about the tunnels in... I can tell by your face already. (laughs) At the moment, I am subduing my passions in the sense of... um, We both research, and there's times when I've made silly errors in my research where I've I've used more assumption than I have reason. There's a point of interest where I've just taken as face value and I've expanded it and then realized, you know what, my first step was so wrong, everything that followed after was a, and to me, this is so full of mistakes, if I were going to say something else, that um, uh, I have no credence to this whatsoever. Okay, well, but let's rip it apart. Let's rip it apart. (laughs) Let's let's take it step by step. All right, I'll be good. We are aware that there are Knights Templar orders. Yes. So the original order of the Knights Templar was disbanded, that is said, and it goes into myth. So whether or not there is a lineage from that original group is just entirely up to your own faith and whether or not you believe that's the case. There is a Masonic Templar organisation, a Knights Templar that is attached to Freemasonry, and they're quite open about the fact that they've recreated the ritual, but it's as sort of authentic as they can make it, and lots of people meet to do that, and they're they're in their thousands. There are lots of those guys that meet in Masonic temples that do the the ritual that they they, um, believe is as close as possible, and they perform that. So instantly I'm going to sort of say it's not them. Because yeah. if they were using the tunnels in Hartford, I think they'd be quite open about it. What about other groups of Templars that might be meeting more privately? Do you think that could be a possibility? I believe there could be. I mean, it's very enigmatic phrasing. I mean, you see it in such beautiful literature um, uh, parallels. I think mean, classical poetry, uh, obviously in uh, Arthurian legends. Um, we know of so many orders throughout history where some noble or some even was a bit of backing has created it yeah i do not believe in any templar order that has existed since was it 1307 um where it's been disbanded no there's there's no lineage for it okay i think for me there are there's definitely not a lineage I i don't think anybody has necessarily continued the templar order i think some of the, the thinking has, has been passed down and I think there are groups that have carried the can so to speak of this underground stream but that's probably for another day but in regards to somebody meeting in Hartford and doing this there are other temporary orders which are more hermetic in thought I know that Timothy yeah. Hogan um, in America has his own Templar order and I do just wonder if there's this has been passed through some families or you know Hartford seems a strange area because I don't think it's particularly 
heavy with Templarism. No. But we're only down the road from something we've previously spoken about, which is um, the cave in Royston. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. there was big Templaries in places like Bulldog. So could there be some link? Could there be this family underneath just hiding away? Or? I'm trying to take in your tone. Is, is, are you either trying to convince me that there is a, <laughs> a sliver of possibility? There is always possibility. Yeah. We have the word possibility to allow for it. Uh, probability, no. Okay. It's, but for me, no. There's, there would be if... <sighs> A concept of a tunnel is to get it from A to B. Yes. Um, I can understand, uh, if we we're looking at it from a ritual perspective, then yes, ritual is about progression, and so a tunnel could be symbolic. But to actually, we know uh, 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 for the Masonic Order of um, Knights Templar, yep. we, have, we have our bags, we put all our kit in our bags, we go to our place, People look like we're having massive snooker cues or things like that when we go into We then put on regalia and do the ritual. Um, the concept of we, this, an organization exists where guys go somewhere with these long cases, unspotted, get dressed into their Templar regalia to perform a ritual in it. No, it's just, there's practically, I can't see the, the balance of the opportunity. Having sort of researched this, and I did a lot on this years ago I, I really looked into because i was working in hartford ah. and when i was working in hartford i felt that i should look into this a bit more because i would often walk down fourth street and there's an interesting book by a gentleman called john barber who worked on worked as part of the the council and it's quite it's quite interesting because he alludes to the fact that the tunnels aren't there but also alludes to the fact that they still could be and he shows some maps that show tunnels that have been there in the past but maybe not for these types of reasons certainly the shops had cellars for moving wine and, and, and bits around but they were quite short tunnels they, and they certainly didn't you'd have to go through a shop into them yeah which wouldn't make any sense in, in, in this but one of the really interesting things that come up is the Masonic Owl oh damn. and I, and I oh. know this really irks you so I, I like to bring it up <laughs> If you walk along 4th Street, and anybody that's uh, prepared to do that now, if you keep your eye uh, right on the top of the building crest, just as you get to a certain point, you'll see a chimney, and there'll, no. be, there'll be an owl. Really? And the owl <laughs> looks across at a building, which is said in the book and is said in this myth yeah. to be the owl looking at a Masonic meeting place. Right. Now... There is a Masonic Lodge that meets in Hartford, and it isn't Sorry, too to far too away. <laughs> it isn't too far away from where this owl is looking, but it isn't, it isn't quite right. And whether or not a Masonic Lodge met there previously or met further down the road is it's kind of here nor there. But the Masonic owl looking out for our, uh, for our friends, or is it even a Masonic owl? Um, Right. Oh, where do I start? Where do I start? I'll leave the fun bit right to the end. But um, one of the, it's, a, it's very reminiscent of uh, in the other Da Vinci story where you've got statues pointing yes. for, uh, where to go for this journey thing and the lovely Rosicrucian idea. Um, first, I see it. Is the owl Masonic? Both you and I are Masons. Have you ever seen an owl, stone owl, or even a symbol of an owl? inside a Masonic temple, on a Masonic temp temple? No. We're both travellers, we've, we've been to a fair few lodges, never seen it. No. Um, would I say, uh, could it be? Yes. Uh, we have adopted so many symbols. The idea of adopting the Greek symbol of uh, wisdom for Athena, yes, we would have adopted it possibly. Use it yourself for, uh, for, the, for this for yeah. the society. <laughs> Is it Masonic? No. So why would an owl be on top of a shop? Well, I would suggest walk down Tring High Street and you'll see another owl. Not pointing to any Masonic temple, church, whatever. During the, uh, I think it was both the Edwardian, Edwardian and um, Victorian period, to stop pigeons landing on your roof and for rats to go through the guttering, you put an owl up in the same way as you would put a heron in your back garden to stop the herons coming to fish for uh, your, your, you know, your koi in your pond. It was to keep away vermin because the silhouette of an owl, uh, the, the vermin come past it, no, we're not going, there's an owl there. It's nothing more than a, a way of stopping pigeons land on your roof. It's essentially a scarecrow. It is. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a small... thing, it's one of the easiest things to research. I think in, in most uh, garden centres, you can still buy one. <laughs> and so uh, I, I have to calm myself down because, of course, I've made cinema mistakes where you see something and because 
we love our history in a sense. We love the, the, uh, the symbol aspect of uh, the Greeks, the owls. We see it. We see something else in it. Yeah. The, the trick, though, is to look beyond what we, ah, oh, that's what it means to us, and go, hang on, why is that actually practically there? Is there another practical reason for it? And it doesn't take much sense nowadays on the internet. Stole an owl. Oh, right. Okay. That's what it's for. <laughs> I mean, I would really, really like this to be true. <laughs> I live near Hartford. Uh, it's not too far from me. It's not too far where we do this filming. And it would be really nice to think that there is this old order that's got the lineage of the Knights Templar who are still meeting and still conducting this ritual together. But I, even I can't. I can't get on board with this. I, d I don't think it's true. Another pointer, so to speak, and with all these mysteries, you'll have different pointers, is there's a church in Hartford um, that you're sent to, and it says that the, the stained glass window has some interesting things in it and it just doesn't it's not mary magdalene isn't pregnant in it you know she yeah. there, 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 there aren't these ancient truths being passed through it because it just none of this stacks up and it to me it screams of that post da vinci code how can we jump on top of the height yes yeah and whoever, whoever had a theory at the time a newspaper we can get a bit more circulation on this and possibly even a, a writers have thought do you know what this is i'm sure the guy wrote it with absolute faith believing this to be true yeah and um maybe even for, if i need to get this out to catch the zeitgeist of um, the da vinci code etc to have this viewpoint out but the credibility to it is, it's is not there. yeah well i would love tim and ben to come forward Yes, that for would, me to at least apologise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be. I mean, it's very simple. And, and you know, as we, when we discussed this in the past, I've said we'll go backwards and forwards on things like um, Rosalind Chapel. We will because I'll say there could be something buried down there, and because we can't get at it, we can't prove it. And I go, don't even bother getting a spade. Exactly, but. With these, if people are still using these tunnels, there's got to be an access point. Yeah. So it would be great for someone to come forward and just show us where that is, or even just show a picture or a part of these tunnels to, yeah. to, to bring the mystery on a bit. But at the moment, it really is flat. I don't think there's any more information. Tim and Barry have disappeared into the ether. They've gone quiet. Yeah. So... I would love to see that. So if anybody out there is in Hartford yes. and you've got some pictures or you've got some more information, come and prove us wrong. It would be fantastic to hear that. But for now, exactly. I think we're both stumps on this. I'd also be interested if someone else has got a stone owl in their street, <laughs> if we can have a database of these stone owls, I think that'd be helpful for everybody in the future. It would certainly. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, we really enjoyed this topic. <laughs> Leave your comments and please do like, and we will speak to you very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you.